EVs are overhyped, but there is one reason why automakers haven't been able to ignore them. The reason? Energy efficiency. While one of the major drawbacks of ICE engines happens to be emissions, emissions alone do not really paint a complete picture. Think of ICE and EVs as two pills. The ICE pill allows you to run for a kilometer without getting tired. The EV pill, however, allows you to run for 3 kilometers for the same dosage. Both have concerning side effects, but one beats the other by a huge margin. One of the major drawbacks of IC engines, apart from emissions, happens to be energy efficiency. At best, an IC engine is able to convert only 25-35% to 35 of the energy into useful work. The energy efficiency of EVs, 80%. So can we not increase an engine's efficiency? Well, we can by increasing the compression ratio, having lesser number of cylinders, running an Atkinson cycle, and so on and so forth. The problem, however, is twofold. One, that these solutions do not offer big improvements, and two, that efficiency often clashes with power or emissions. On top of that, IC engines work efficiently only in a very narrow range of load and RPM, and keeping the engine running only in that range is impossible without an additional source of power. And that sums up why making an engine efficient has become a pursuit with diminishing returns and why EVs have grabbed so much of attention both from automakers and consumers alike. But is efficiency going to be enough? You tell me.